Welcome everyone. Today I want to show you CatMapper. CatMapper is a free-to-use online service which transforms any place on Earth into a usable 3D model and it includes buildings as well as the topography in 3D. So let's go on catmapper.com and check it out. To download maps you need to create a free account. And on the landing page, you can see what CatMapper is capable of and you can also see how it works. It's really, really easy. You choose your location, you change some options and then you just click and download it. And down here you see 200 and plus free whole city files. And now you ask yourself, he said it's a free to use online service. Why are only 200 plus cities for free? Um, that's right. but. The online service works up to one square kilometer and the cities down here are way bigger than one square kilometer. It's the whole metropolitan area, but, and it's a big but, it's only simplified two-dimensional DXF file and it just shows the road network. So there are no buildings, there is no 3D at all and you just have the middle lines of all the roads in the metropolitan area of these 200 big cities. So don't expect too much of it. Otherwise, we can download a 3D model by clicking on get started creating a file. Let's do it. First of all, we have to choose the area. You do this on the right side and it seems that it automatically remembers where you've been last time. I've downloaded something in New York City here. And you can use the mouse wheel to zoom in and zoom out or you can type in anything here in the field, search for a location. And also you can drag on the edges of this window here to scale up and down the download area and here you can see how big your download area will be up to one square kilometer it's for free if you're getting bigger cat mapper will charge money for it the bigger it gets the more money they will charge up to 100 and square kilometers so i will zoom in a little bit and i will stick here in new york city and i will go to one square kilometer that's what I want to download. After you selected the area, you have to start playing around with the options here. CatMapper supports DWG for AutoCAD. It supports two types of SKP files for SketchUp. It supports AI for Illustrator, 3DM for Rhino and for anything else, DXF. I will stick here with SketchUp 2015 plus because I want to edit the 3D model in Archicut afterwards and it works best with the SketchUp file. And now we can choose if we want to include buildings and topography in the model. I experienced that the real building height are uh, just working in really big cities like New York City here or Hong Kong or Moscow or something else. And in most places you have to type in a fail site for the buildings. I will go with seven meters, but I don't expect that there are fails height buildings in New York City here. But in the village where I was born, for example, there is none real 3D building. So seven meters is a good value for this. If you want to use the 3D topography, you can also set the distance between the contour lines here. In some places, four meters was the minimum. I think in New York, one meter works. Um, uh, it's highly depending on the location. That's what I experienced. Last but not least, we have the roads. You can choose between having them as single lines, center lines, or as outlines, or as mesh surfaces. So you have a 3D mesh. And I will go with the mesh surfaces and afterwards you have to type in some values for different types of roads. So the map knows which road is a highway, a major road, a minor road and a path. And I experienced that these values 59, 6 and 4 work quite good. I think it's also depending on the location, but you can start with it and afterwards you can see if it's good or not and then you make a little change. 
So if you're finished with all the edits, you can just click on create file and you will see, ah, okay. You won't see anything. It just says minimum contour interval is four meters. So we will stick with five meters because four meters is really unusual. Create file and it will create a preview 3D model on the right side. And this is how it will look like. Spoiler alert, the colors won't be there in the SketchUp model. It will all be some grayish white tone. Um, but we have some really big buildings and I think all the buildings have their real height and none of them is fails. So just download it and it will come as a zip file and I can go into my download folder, extract it here and there we have the SKP model. I don't have SketchUp on this computer so it's blank white but I have Archicad in an open new file and I just drag and drop it into Archicad into the floor plan. And it also asks if you want to keep the geo reference or if you want to ignore it. I will ignore it in this case so it won't be too far away from my point of origin in Archicad. And there we have the one square kilometer of New York City. And it looks like this in 3D. Really good quality. It's really, really, really quick. If we want to make changes in Archicad, we have to select everything, right click it, convert everything into morphs. Now we can change colors, we can delete some stuff, whatever. And I will do some really big, uh, or some really quick diagram in Archicad of this type of model here, or of this type of area, which I just downloaded, and you will see it in the video. And yeah, that's all. CatMapper, I think, is a really, really, really good and useful service, and you will save a lot of time building, for example, your urban development project or the surrounding of your building especially if you have a really difficult plot with a lot of height differences or if you're into urban development and yeah let me know in the comments what do what you think of catmapper if you will use it from now on if you knew it before if it's the first time you see catmapper somewhere and I hope you think so too and you can use CatMapper to make your life a little bit easier. And as always, have a great day and stay creative.